guys, this is a 06 Honda Pilot. We have a problem with the water intrusion on a passenger side. Uh, there is a, a TSB. There is a, a problem with uh, this harness here. It goes to the side light here. That is the seal inside of it is bad. But that doesn't seem to be a problem on this one because I'll show you what the uh, carpet looks like. So what I did, I used a uh, garden hose. I sprayed this side of the car pretty hard. You can see all the way it's, it's wet all the way around. And I, I think I found where the problem is. Okay, so carpet is wet only at the bottom kind of up to here so it doesn't seem to come from the from the top and goes all the way yeah, to, to the middle but uh, well, after I sprayed a uh, the door the water it's coming right at the bottom of the door right there you can see there's a water so it seems like the door seal it's not it's not working well I'm having a hard time to find exactly where it's coming from it's not coming from this corner this corner is still dry now and uh, it is definitely it's coming from this direction and goes down so way around but the door looks okay unless it's coming from the it's not coming from the top of the door Everything seems to be good and tight. Okay, so I was wrong. The water is not coming from the from the door seal. It's coming from here. It's actually right behind this uh, electrical uh, um, fuse behind the fuse box. I'm not sure if it's this whole this whole place here is full of water. Actually, I'm not sure how the water is getting into it. But if you look right there. You can see that's the water. There, there you go. I'm moving the car a little bit. And, uh, so now the question is, look at that. How the water gets in it. So I need to investigate some more. Okay. Okay. I think I found the source of the leak. We can see now we've got a water in here again. Again, it's coming from this this hole here behind the uh, this electric box, the fuse box. And uh, if you have this problem, you're going to spend some time fixing this. So I'll show you what the problem is. Okay, as you can see I removed the fender and uh, liner and all that stuff. So most of the problem is actually right in here. As the water runs down, goes, it seeps through these, you know, uh, connectors. And uh, actually I even changed this guy and put the silicone around it. That didn't change anything. So basically... Part of the problem is this this seam here, I believe. But main problem is as you follow this seam here, and you can actually see where they stopped with the, with the silicone, right, right there. So now I have to go inside and uh, seal all that. It's kind of hard to see it because it is behind this metal piece. So I might have to drill the hole in here that I can actually get again an access and and uh, silicone this. Uh, you know, seal this part here. So I'm going to seal all this around. I'm going to seal this as well. But this is where, that's what the problem is, right behind this, this piece. So uh, it's very painful. But that's what uh, you know. Of course, I'm going to, I'm going to, I actually use a toothbrush to kind of get under here to follow this edge and get it, you know, get it cleaned up. But uh, you know, that's what, uh, that's what the problem is. Okay, so uh, my plan is I just drilled a hole. It's like an inch hole. I wish I drilled it a bit smaller, but this would be okay. So now we can actually see better. Let's see if I can make the light. So that's the uh, seam right there, and it's not it's not sealed right. And uh, over the time, it starts to okay, kind of focus it. So this whole area has to be, you know, silicone. And uh, it goes all the way up to up to there. So, so my plan is to you know get my finger, get the silicone, and uh, get this all sealed. I think I can reach it from the. I don't want to drill another hole, but I think I can I can reach it from the from the bottom and from here, and everything gets sealed. 
this I don't think it's actually a problem but I'll do it anyway but this is the only place where you know if you you know if you still have a leak you know, this has to be sealed as well and if this is sealed and you still have the leak that's the only place that the water can come in okay I'm done I I know it doesn't look pretty but everything is sealed and uh, here you know I use the finger to seal the um, upper you know this part here and then uh, I use this spatula to kind of get underneath to reach it as far as I can go up so I was able to kind of seal the whole area I didn't want to drill another hole so I think this will be fine and uh, I'm going to use a uh, a cap to uh, to cover this as well okay I got Nick outside spraying the car you know on the passenger side all the way from the from the top in, the, in that air uh, in the and the fender and the and the, and the door and uh, as we look now everything is nice and dry there's no more water coming in in it at all so um, this will take care of it I'm gonna yeah Everything is dry, and uh, nothing else. Before, you know, it wouldn't take a couple minutes, and the water would start to seep in the car. So, okay, I got this hole plugged up, and uh, this is what I used. Uh, these are kit of grommets, rubber grommets. So, um, I got a assortment of different ones. So, I actually used this one and uh, this one kind of put it together and uh, actually you know and seal everything around so that <clears throat> that's okay that they'll be fine okay so uh, let me give you a couple tips when you trying to diagnose this problem <clears throat> so when I started it it was very confusing from the day one when I start spraying the water I could see water here and um, I was thinking maybe it's my door seal so that was not the case and then I was able to see some water here and I was thinking maybe that water is coming from the from the from the from the below which didn't make any sense because of course I had a garden hose from my roof so um, when you when you look the um, you know this fuse box here okay and uh, when you look inside, you're going to see this hole here. Right there. Let's see if the camera can focus it. So when you look, the, uh, this, is your, uh, this is your fuse box. So right behind the fuse box, you'll find this hole. And what happens, what happens, the water is going to, you know, fill this bottom all the way until it gets to this point and it's it's gonna start to leak out onto your floor okay so there are two places where the water gets in it so of course it comes from from outside now <clears throat> if you seal these three plugs okay you may you can you can seal this one as well so to access these plugs, you can simply remove the wheel and an uh, inner uh, liner, fender liner, and you can actually get e you know easily to that area, seal everything around, and if that takes care of the problem, you're fine. So now, if that does not take care of the problem, if you're getting the water coming from the same hole, you have to take the fender. Stop wasting your time. There's nothing else you can do. You have to take the fender off. It's not that hard actually and uh, you have to find a way how to how to seal this seam that's go behind this this plate here as you know I, I drilled a hole I was able to do all that you know whichever you be creative you know do whatever you can to get this area completely sealed and that's that's where the water comes in so uh, I was even thinking maybe it comes to the top of the roof I seal this corner here as well I was you know literally struggling for a couple of days to find the source of the leak but that's that's where the water is coming from and also I have to pay attention to these holes here uh, this is for the fender I'm gonna put some silicone in here before I put my put my fender because the water can leak through these holes as well so make sure you seal this as well 
and uh, so that's those are the only places where the water can get in. And of course, there's uh, these uh, plugs here, but uh, I think they're fine. And um, so that's it. This is fixed for sure. It was uh, it was really um, hard to 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 find the problem, and I, I did seal all the way from the bottom all the way up, and uh, it's okay now. But uh, just pay attention. Look behind that behind the fuse box, find that little hole that I showed you with my pick and uh, if the water comes from from that area basically you know it, it will it will drip down and it starts to starts to kind of fill up this this area until it gets to that to that point where the hole is and it will start going into the car into your floor and um, this is where it's coming from so uh, again I don't want to repeat myself if you seal this and that takes care of the problem you, you're luck you're in luck but if it doesn't then you have to take the fender off and seal this as well. So, okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this was uh, useful. And uh, uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.